Good morning, folks. SDO eclipse season is back. Happens on cue every few months. Earth and sometimes even the moon pass directly in front of the camera. Beware. Every time it happens, someone successfully fools tens of thousands into thinking it's Nibiru. Now, in that same vein of abating lunacy as you look at meteorite websites, every fireball seen for the next year is going to have somebody blaming ice on. And while we might get a nice dusting in mid-January, nothing before then or much after can be linked to the comet. So if you catch someone doing such a thing, perhaps inform them of just which meteor shower we're currently in at the time. I've got four sites linked for you below. Some list the big ones, lots of great information, some list them all. We have one coming about 10 days away that always gives a great show every year, and I promise somebody will use it for ice on fear-mongering. Also make yourself aware of the early year showers. The one mid-January though is so small I'd say anything seen then absolutely is from Comet Ison. Gotta know the distinction. Couple boys switched offline in the Bay of Bengal and west of the subcontinent. Couple nuclear stations with minor issues in the northeast and east coast. They say no radiation leaks. With Sinabung to the north, Mount Merapi to the south. Mount Currency is showing significant uptick activity. Let's look at the lows near Australia and New Zealand. In the southern hemisphere, they spin clockwise and make the worst weather along the leading convergence hooking north along its east side. And make that bad weather it did. Extreme event in southern Australia. You can watch the pop-up storms flipped upside down from how we watch them knuckle across the United States. The accumulation concerns in South America have turned severe in a hurry in Argentina. Hail and severe storm conditions present near the east coast. Lows spin counterclockwise in the north. That's one stuck there in the Mediterranean, already killed at least two in Italy and is causing major flood events in northern Africa. A line from deep in the Atlantic is shooting up over the UK and up to Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Note the Arctic blast encroaching into the northwest states. This again is driven by a counterclockwise driving low, but this is a big one. She's pulling straight south along the western side, causing the cold temperatures out there. Gamma ray burst again yesterday. This one came out of Aquarius. CME impact we expected yesterday is actually hitting this morning. Speed and density on a slight rise. KP back alive again and the smooth curves are taking the tiny dings we expected. The CME was a small one. Solar flaring continues to be weak. The solar magnetic shutdown is peppered with underperforming spots, misdirected newly formed groups and umbral decay. Not much doing and so we use the opportunity to check out new signets on ISWA in the solar tab at the high number panels. Some of these new charts are more useful than others. Those who have been checking their sunspot class against NOAA now have another source to check. This thing also looks for and identifies the coronal holes. Those of you new to hunting them down, AIA 193 and 211 are usually the best at showing those holes as dark masses. And speaking of this one, the upper coronal fields do appear to be open for at least one more day. Corona hole power left us yesterday, but actually is coming back now. Another signet they've added looks for filaments. Remember, these can erupt as or even more violently than flares sometimes. Does not do a good job differentiating between the huge unstable bands and smaller, less significant ropes. And for those who tried to enter the Star Water coupon yesterday, you know I messed up. And since I'm not exactly sure what I did, I've just made the default membership price at full discount for everyone through the holiday. List of those asking for donated memberships is surging, and we've added a monthly option for those who want to see what you get each month. Please also take the new poll on the next Google Hangout. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.